We bought something from Best Buy today. We bought the Samsung Gear S2 Classic. This is the watch that I've been wanting since first introduced. There's two versions, the Gear S2 regular and Classic. The other one uh, will not have a leather band. The Gear S2 Classic will have a, a more rugged bezel, kind of like uh, notches surrounding the bezel. And I decided to get this one. Boo, can you open it? So this is the Gear S2 Classic. Let's see what's inside. Uh, this is just a watch that we can put it here. And this brick is probably the power supply. Yep. This one, oh, this is the wireless charger. The good thing about this is I have the Gear uh, 2. I think it's called a Gear 2. Uh, the older watch of this and and it comes with a clip and you have to clip it on that's pretty cheap it's really annoying every time you have to charge it you have to clip it in and it's not it doesn't stay well so this one comes with a wireless charger put your watch on top and it's just gonna charge this is going to be the cable all right so let's open this up what is that oh extra band look at this an extra bit. I wish they would give us the brown version of it. Mm -hmm. Is it two of them or just one? Just one. Just one? What? So cheap. You sure? Is there another one? We can, we can go back and ask. Uh, but it only comes with one. Alright. Well. Oh, it's small size. This is the watch. I'm going to assume that this button right here is to power on. Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this watch, probably because it's, it doesn't look like a uh, smart watch. It looks like a regular watch, and I'm very excited about this this moving bezel. Okay, welcome screen. What's it says? I have to download a, a Samsung Gear app on the on the phone to use this. See, that's the that's the one thing that I don't like about. Uh, certain technology like you know, like iPhones in the beginning where you have to connect to your iTunes to use it and so this one is asking me to you to download an app to use it just like the other Samsung Samsung watches it's telling me to go to a, a web browser and download an app so I'm going to download an app here uh, using a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge currently this phone is from work. Okay. It's a Bluetooth pairing request. The watch is communicating with the phone right away. They're asking me to verify my, my code. So 086136, that's the right one. I'm gonna click OK on my phone. And it's downloading additional software. That's 27.15 megabyte. It's installing uh, two additional software. Now it's connecting to the gear, asking me to agree to the end user's license agreement. Now it's asking me to sign into my Samsung account to use this gear features when Bluetooth is disconnected. This is the last one in in the Springs in in the in Colorado, and they say that it's the last one in the states. So I don't know how true that is, but probably a marketing scheme. So I would buy it, but I plan to buy it anyway. How it looks like on my wrist. It sucks because uh, right now it doesn't match my shoes. Can't see your shoes. Look, there's a shoes right there. Doesn't. Huh? Can't see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see. Yeah, brown shoes, black leather str uh, straps. They don't go well together. So this is the watch face. First thing I notice is the, uh, what do you call it, second hand? Mm -hmm. How it, uh, it moves, it animated, very smoothly, actually. So that's, that's a good thing. Some, some watches would uh, res um, conserve energy by not having this, this second hand uh, moving. I can see the battery indicator and the date. Uh, this, today is the 10th. I synced up with my phone and the battery seems to be I'm using half of it already 
and there's a shoes icon which is a pedometer in the past when I was wearing the Samsung gear uh, 2 or yeah I forgot the name of it but it's the second Samsung gear watches uh, smartwatch and I I get a consistent of 30,000 steps per day so let's see if this will get will get the same score if, if I get the same score that means that they, they haven't improved the pedometer I'm gonna scroll to the right I see apps s voice setting and buddy uh, I know what s voice is that's the voice control uh, buddy is probably adding your contacts in there but let's let's look at apps you got recent apps the bottom button is home top button is gonna be your back button messages and um, we're just gonna go see what this looks like okay so back back s health here is s health it's telling me that fill your day with healthy activity start doing light activity not bad mm. uh, zero steps so far exercise let's see tap to record buttons so let's get out of there so they have running walking cycling hike elliptical trainer exercise bike step machine so let's go back uh, heart rate well let's see how long it takes to measure my heart rate I am not moving currently Seventy beat per minute, so it's not not bad. It's faster than the old Samsung smartwatch. It's telling me to tag what I'm doing, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say I'm super, no, I'm fearful. I am excited. Let me choose this one. All right, your heart rate is within average resting range. Okay, so let's go back and what's next? Glasses. This is how much I drink. How much water I drink? How much? cups I'm thinking this is gonna be coffee caffeine and then settings okay let's go back that's F health that's uh, this is Nike running I don't have that functionality or devices to connect to this one so I probably won't use it so if I skip scrolling I have alarm and then timer stopwatch let's see what stopwatch look oh I've got to stop doing that stopwatch oh not very nice inter interface for stopwatch I like how fast and smooth this this watch is. I gotta stop clicking the back button. So this is CNN application. Let's see, top stories is downloading. It's using my phone data to get stories. So you know what I'm gonna pick? Tech. Let's see what tech said. Mm, it's not very convenient to use this to read news, so I'm gonna back out. All right. Okay. So music, music is uh, one thing that I will use most. Music and timers, because I I like to exercise, listen to music at the same time, and also make sure that uh, every thirty seconds I would do uh, the next exercise. So having a a uh, timer on a, on a watch is perfect. This is Samsung Milk Music. I hardly use it. Gallery, mm, something I would use. Okay. That's gallery. Next page, I have Buddy. Let's go to Buddy system. I see. So when I set a favorite on my on my phone, it's gonna have those favorites here. That's good. It's good to know. And uh, emails. Find my iPhone. No, find my phone. Maps. Ooh, I want to see what Maps function looks like. Your device is uses mapping technology provided by here. So here is from Nokia actually, which is sh should be Microsoft now. So let's see, scrolling would we'll zoom in and out. Well, okay, what can we do with this? That's my location. Traffic on, please. Map function is a little slow. All right, I probably won't have a use for this. Voice memo. This is probably what I'm going to use most. When I'm driving, I can't really add memo by by typing it in. So voice memo is a good idea to talk to it and then remind myself what I need to do. And then get more apps. Let's see, get more apps. Probably going to direct you to another store. After I click get more apps, 
it woke up my phone to pick from a list of, of recommended apps. That's good. All right, we're not gonna mess with that. All right, settings. I wanna go to settings. Display, let's set smartwatches. Let's see what it, what they have. Stylized, ooh. See, world time. Mm. Mm. I think I like, ooh, that is beautiful. Oh yeah, oh this is amazing. This is a great, this is a great one.